All right, let's see what this Papa Pasquale ravioli factory is all about. I got my culinary case. I'm gonna go back here and see about whipping up some Johnny Chow style raviolis. All right, let's see what this Papa Pasquale is all about here in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn. Wow, this is another world. All right, this all right, is Come in, what do you got going? What do you got real at all? His face, the famous five cheese recipe. Found nowhere else but here. It gets put into this cylinder. The dough. It's fed through. You put it into the cylinder. You have to put it in the cylinder. In the cylinder, and the dough okay. comes through. And the dough comes through. And this, is the, this apparently is the, the this dough. Is the dough. You make your own dough, yeah. obviously. Everything's made here. The dough is made with that machine right there. Then you really gotta jump and jive it. Then you really gotta jump and jive it. Then you really win. the dough and out comes a beautiful pillow of a ravioli. Now that's a good looking ravioli pack. Papa's in the icebox looking for a can of ale. And I, and I got this ravioli that I want to make with you. I have to put you a little, little Brooklyn stove. To, all right, I think maybe we need that little, we need Brooklyn. A little Brooklyn in there. So uh, is there's a stove? Yes, we have maybe, an old, maybe I'll put my jacket on. We can start cooking. Let's go ahead. Right. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's start off by uh, popping my case here. Pulling some real special ingredients out for this shrimp corn. It's actually my corny shrimp ravioli. And what it has is contains shallots. Fresh ginger, corn kernels, some tarragon, and some bay shrimp. It's a great combination. Bay shrimp, and also the final California ingredient, carrots, man. If you don't have a carrot in the California recipe, you're in trouble. All right, so we're gonna start off with these ingredients. We're gonna chop them up. We're gonna saute them nice and slowly. And then Pat and I are gonna collaborate on creating the ultimate California-style ravioli right here in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn. Got it? So what's the neighborhood like? All right, here we are at Papa Pasquale's Ravioli Factory in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn, New York. Well, actually, Brooklyn, the fourth largest city in the America, in the United States of America. And uh, we've got some ginger oil, and we're gonna add a little olive oil to this. Thing. You get the olive oil bottle open. You know how things are these days, a little tough to get open. And then what we're gonna do is begin the Johnny Chow corny shrimp ravioli. And what it's got is ginger, shallots, corn, carrots, bay shrimp, and tarragon. Nice, delicious. And then what I do at the end is I create a very intricate sauce, which we'll talk about later on, for the top of these raviolis. You don't just put a marinara sauce on top of these raviolis. We've got a handful of ginger and shallots. 
Our little tarragon here we're going to put in. The dry tarragon. Bring out the flavor. Open it right up. The infamous olive oil bottle. Let's put some more olive oil in here. Because we're going to need a little bit extra oil. For the carrots. Okay, you know, it's a team here in Bensonhurst. I've got olive oil in Bensonhurst. And then we want to put in our soulful seafood. This is the Johnny Chow blend that was presented and created for Carlos Santana many years ago. Okay? And even a little more. You want to yellow, get those carrots yellow because you're going to add all that shrimp and you want that flavor to come through. All good add a little, since we don't have any white wine, we might just add a little bit. We don't want to make it too wet, though, huh? A little water might be too much. We don't want to make it wet because we're making ravioli. Moist. Delicious. I can smell those herbs just coming through right now. I can hear those herbs coming through. I actually can hear them. Fresh shallots, carrots, corn, bay shrimp, tarragon, and the Johnny Chow Soulful Seafood come up with a wonderful mixture for one of Papa Pasquale's newest raviolis, the Johnny Chow ravioli, huh? Right. So tell me what else here now. During the week, how many raviolis do you pump out of this place? Oh, hundreds, hundreds of thousands. Oh, it's got to be getting hundreds. hundreds That's not hundreds many. Of thousands, hundreds of thousands. Hundreds of thousands. Hundreds of thousands. Yeah. Production is uh, six days a week, constant. Constant uh, raviolis. Now you sell. We them. also make the money gotti, the stuff shells. The gentleman's making money gotti right there. Fresh crepes. That looks good, huh? I'm going to get a taste of that. That's delicious ricotta. It really is. You can taste the, the, the good ricotta, you know? Very good. We're going to try some of them shells, too. Oh, mozzarella. Look at those shells, huh? Final mixture was cooked for about 20 minutes and we're draining the liquid. Now this liquid is awesome because it's the flavor of the shrimp with all the vegetables and the soulful seafood and we can make a wonderful sauce with this later on. But right now we're gonna drain it, take the mixture and we're gonna show you, we're gonna squeeze in on it, food process it up and we're gonna mix it with the special mixture that they do right here at Papa Pasquale's. <laughs> Okay, so now we have our mixture, it's drained. We're going to put it into a greasy knot, okay? And we're going to test the consistency. We don't want to make this too fine. We kind of want to keep it chunky. So we, we can see the bits of carrot, we can see the bits of shrimp. Probably the ginger and the shallots will have disintegrated by now. And let's see what we got. Let's pulse it. And I think right in this neck of the woods is what we're looking for. Let's see that. Nice consistency, still fluffy. See, take a quick look at that. What do you think, Pat? You're the ravioli expert. Can I we think that that's... A little finer? Uh, just a tad. Just a tad, just says the ravioli king. What do I know about making ravioli? <laughs> All right, let's go. That's it. Here we go. Nice consistency. Beautiful. Perfect. Now we're going to take the mixture that we created here today at Papa Pasquale in Bensonhurst, Brooklyn, fourth largest city in America, and we're going to put it into our machine and mix with the impostada. Now, Pat, will you tell us what impostada is? Impostada is simply a higher grade of ricotta. It's a better grade of ricotta. It's also used to make cannolis and different Italian pastries. And we're going to put this Johnny Chow's shrimp, thorny carrot filling. California style with a Brooklyn accent. The starter. Raise it up a little. We'll mix it together. 